Ever wonder what surgeons talk about when they're not knee-deep in surgery? Well, picture this. A group of surgeons gathered around the break room table, trading jokes and jabs about their favorite types of patients. From meticulously numbered accountants to alphabetically arranged librarians and color-coded electricians, each surgeon makes a case for why their profession reigns supreme on the operating table. But when heartless lawyers and savvy engineers enter the conversation, it's comedy gold. Get ready for a surgical showdown where laughter is the best anesthesia. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, around 3000 BC, surgeons were more than just craftsmen. They were the original body magicians. Picture this. While the rest of the world was still figuring out how to start a fire, these Egyptian surgeons were immobilizing fractures, slicing out tumors, and stitching up wounds with all the finesse of a modern-day seamstress, using linen thread, no less. But hold on to your pharaoh hats because the real plot twist comes with the mummies. That's right. Those wrapped-up relics of the past were more than just spooky decorations for horror movies. They were textbooks for these ancient surgeons. You see, while everyone else was busy burying their dead and calling it a day, the Egyptians were turning death into a science. By meticulously mummifying bodies, they weren't just preserving the past. They were dissecting the secrets of human anatomy, like the world's first medical detectives. With every incision, they gained insights into the inner workings of the human body, improving their diagnosis and treatment of the living in ways that would make even Dr. Frankenstein jealous. So, next time you're at the museum, gazing upon those ancient relics, just remember, those mummies aren't just spooky spectacles. They're the OG textbooks that taught ancient surgeons everything they needed to know about saving lives. Who knew that unraveling the mysteries of the dead could lead to such life-saving revelations? It's enough to make even the most skeptical archaeologists say, now that's what I call a mummy makeover. All right. Scrub in and get ready, because we're about to dissect some serious humor. The first surgeon leans forward and declares, Accountants, my friends, are the absolute best to operate on. Why? Because when you open them up, everything on the inside is numbered. It's like performing surgery in a perfectly organized spreadsheet. The second surgeon chuckles and counters, You haven't seen anything until you've operated on a librarian. Everything inside them is meticulously arranged in alphabetical order. It's like navigating a well-indexed library in there. Not to be outdone, the third surgeon chimes in. Ah, but have you ever worked on an electrician? Now, there's a treat. Everything inside them is color-coded, like working with a rainbow of wires. It's almost too easy. The fourth surgeon, with a mischievous grin, adds his opinion. I beg to differ. Lawyers are the most fascinating patients. They're heartless, spineless, gutless, and their heads and butts are completely interchangeable. He pauses for effect before continuing. Plus, operating on them is great practice for arguing a case in court. As the group shares a laugh, the fifth surgeon, who has been quietly listening to the conversation, finally speaks up. Well, gentlemen, he begins, while all those choices certainly have their merits, I have to say I prefer engineers. You see, they always understand when you have a few parts left over at the end. It's like they anticipate the need for spare parts. <laughs> the room erupts in laughter as they all agree that regardless of the profession, each type of patient presents its own unique challenges and rewards in the operating room. Moral of the story is this. Remember, in the operating theater of life, each profession brings its own quirks and challenges. Whether you're stitching up a lawyer's interchangeable parts or puzzling over an engineer's extra pieces, just know that in the end, it's all part of the procedure. So keep your sense of humor intact because when it comes to surgery or any other adventure, those spare parts might just come in handy. 
If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.